Finding the perfect gift for the holidays doesn't always have to come brand new. Here to tell us how going vintage can make a lasting impression are Thomas and Anthony from B&B's Traveling Museum and Vintage Mercantile. Guys, thank you so much for joining us again here on Live in the Bay. Hi, Olivia. So good to, so good to be back. <laughs> you just couldn't stay away, huh? Oh, no. oh, no, we cannot do that. Oop. Oh. Sorry about that, everybody. This is live TV. Sometimes things happen. Okay, first and foremost, you guys are going to give us some holiday ideas when it comes to vintage shopping. Now, why vintage? Why go vintage when it comes to shopping? Yeah, so our gift is to give the gift of nostalgia. The um, gift of nostalgia. It is so easy to go out and just buy something new, but it's so much more unique to find something old and something that people can connect to. And you guys have compiled a couple of different themes for us over here. So let's start with the jackets and the cool clothes over here that are throwback. Tell me a little bit about this section. Yeah, so those are all jackets and shirts from Pocket Monkey Vintage in Benicia, California. Our good friend Jay over there has the best selection of vintage men jackets on the West Coast. Um, so that first one, that, that jean jacket there, that's Levi's. That's made Ooh. right here in San Francisco. That's a Huey Lewis in the news jacket. So kind of double local on yeah. that one. Uh, right below that, we've got a Cal Hawaiian shirt. That's from the, from, the, from the 90s. Got that Kiss shirt there. That's from the 80s. And then that uh, 49ers shirt, that's from the late 80s also. So. Oh, my gosh. So very local. We love that. So. Extremely local. <laughs> show your love for Jimmy G's recovery by uh, picking up that shirt. You seriously. Know? <laughs> seriously. You got to show the love for the 49ers. And I like how it's, you see, like you said, University of California, Berkeley. So this is really awesome because anybody here in the Bay Area, this will be very relevant for them. Absolutely. Now, what about when it comes to these cute little stuffed animals that I just about <laughs> knocked over? Yeah, Paddington <laughs> took a little tumble there. So these vintage, uh, people think of vintage toys, I think of like old G.I. Joes, old Barbies, but it also is old teddy bears. Mm -hmm. And these Paddingtons are almost 20 years old, but they, you know, connect across generations. Uh, kids love Paddington. Your parents love Paddington. It's been around forever. Uh, in front of Paddington, both Paddingtons, we have this old Golden State Warriors uh, teddy bear. It's like a, people who love mascots, people who love teddy bears. That's a great vintage piece from local Bay Area sports. Awesome. So, and these are actually really good ideas. You can give these to the kids. You can do anything with when it comes to old vintage stuffed animals. Yeah, stuffed animals. And that's what we like about the old vintage board games, too, is because they connect across generations. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm you glad know. you mentioned it. Let's get into the board <laughs> games over here. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, from old to young, people can play board games together. So, you know, if you're at home this holiday season and the family's having a hard time connecting, you can all get together and be equally frustrated and confused by the <laughs> rules of an old board game. Um, and, and visually, very aesthetically pleasing. They look uh -huh. great on your shelf and they're a lot of fun to play still. They do look really good. And <laughs> Anthony, kind of walk us through some of the games that you guys brought with you today. Yeah, so we brought uh, Scrabble, the Sentence Cube games. That's a variation of your, uh, your traditional Scrabble. So, mm -hmm. you know, for... All the, Scrabble level yeah, all lovers the, uh, out the, there. The great speller in your life can, uh, <laughs> can go with that one. Or then Snapshot by uh, Parker Brothers, which has a, a beautiful box here. That's like a vintage like picture game, so kind of like, uh -huh. a, like a memory game, yeah. Awesome. And it's like old photography, too, because all of the images are stock images from like the 60s, so they're very cool to just look at. And they, so it's actually, the pictures are from back in the 60s. Even though it's stock, it's still back oh, in the 60s. Oh, they're, they're old, old photos, yeah. So cool. Okay, what about these unique little lunch boxes that we, are those lunch boxes? These are Lunch boxes, yeah. So, like, you know, back when, when, when we were kids in the 90s, right, they had, like, kind of plastic versions of these ones. But you kick it back even further in the 70s and 80s, even back to the 60s, you had these kind of these metal guys that would have a little, you know, thermos that came with them. Mm -hmm. And such wonderful things here as commemorating the, the moon landing, which is a, a favorite of uh, ours at the Traveling <laughs> Museum. And then I this, remember uh, that. Yeah. Last time you guys brought a lot of NASA stuff. And then this uh, Guns of Will Sonnet lunchbox with some, some wonderful calories cowboy prints on the side there. And when it came to picking the different themes, how do you guys go about it for the holiday gifting? We just think about what we would like to get. You That's know? And, smart. And, and we translate that to what we think people would want to get from other people. I think the best gifts that we get are the gifts people think the most about. Yeah. Um, and it's so much more fun to open up something you don't expect. Oh, um, something like this. That. Although we do love the plastic lunch boxes too. <laughs> But the tin ones are the OG, so you got to show some love to the OG tin ones. Now, what about these gorgeous flowers over here? I love flowers. They're so beautiful. Yeah. But it's what, what they're sitting in that is important, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is part of our partnership with Pixie Pop-Ups. That's at Pixie Pop-Ups on Instagram. So they're, uh, they have a flower truck and run in a flower business. We're partnering with them with bouquets that are coming in vintage vessels here. So right here we've got one for uh, the 1979 Big Game. Mm -hmm. And then in the front there is one of those Star Wars cups from when the Star Wars films were 
least Burger King had glasses that they actually put out, mm -hmm. and that's that one. So if you go to either Pixie Pop-Ups' Instagram or ours, we're going to have some details on how to pick these up. Wonderful. And I see some Star Wars action over there in the first one. So we got some big Star Wars fans. Oh, definitely <laughs> big Star Wars fans. Yeah, that's... A staple of my childhood. <laughs> Love it. Well, these the theme to this is so wonderful. Now, I have to bring it back to the van because the van it was what makes you guys who you are, really. So when it comes to traveling during the holidays, does that change the way you approach the traveling B&B Museum? We like to be accessible to everybody. Um, we appreciate that people travel for the holidays. So everything that we have, we can also ship. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the travel theme, we're always looking at travel theme stuff. So Wonderful. around the holidays, we're just trying to do more, you know, special. More special themes. Gifts, yeah. It makes sense. All right, guys, thank you so much, Anthony Thomas. We appreciate you guys, as usual, for coming here and giving us some gift ideas. Yeah, thanks thank so you. much. Thank you for having us. To learn more about B&B &B for the holidays, we'll have a link on our website at Live in the Bay.